Hello friends, my name is Real Mail and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 6. Today we are doing another race car build and the subject of today's race car build is the Sunbeam Tiger. More specifically, we are going to be taking a look at the Sunbeam Tiger's fantastic sounding V8 motor. This really is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful sounding car, it's great. Anyways, uh, I'm thinking we're going to build this up to like D class or C class. I'm going to try and go for more like a sort of old British sports car thing, sort of. Not so much in the way of power, but more grip. Now, I do want to do something to this car, though. I do want to supercharge it. So, we're going to go ahead and do that, just because I think that's really going to improve the noise off this vehicle. We'll come back to aero and stuff later on. Right. Um, we're going to go for a C-Class build, I think. So, let's start building this thing up towards C-Class. Only two two fives on the front. That's a bit worrying. Only two four fives on the rear. Okay, right. Um, first things first, we need a wing, uh, I think. So we'll go with that. Now, do I want to go for some front downforce as well? Um, it kind of makes the car look a bit silly, but I think it will probably benefit us. So yeah, we'll go with that. Right, uh, apparently I haven't really got much PI to play with at all after doing that. So we're going to put sport transmission in. I'm going to hope I can get race brakes and race uh, suspension on as well. Uh, I'll probably go for a roll cage and that'll be about it for this vehicle. So uh, it's not quite the lightweight build that I wanted it to be, but apparently I haven't really got much in the way of PI to really play with on this one. Right, there we go. It gives us a single hoop, which I don't like. I'd rather it give us twin hoops, but whatever. Right, uh, I very much doubt we'll get any weight reduction on this, so I think... For the next bit, we will... Uh, can we get anything on this at all? Um, okay, flywheel. Flywheel it is. Alright, we're up to C500. Can we... Ooh, differential. Of course, this is an old car. We might need that. Uh, right, can we... No, we can't. Okay, there we go. That's the Sunbeam Tiger built. That was a relatively simple one to build. Uh, apparently, the race tyres take up quite a lot of the PI. Now, for all I remember, this was actually a pretty decent handling car uh, stock, even though the gear ratio is a, a bit wonky on this. Apparently, it's got a 5-speed. In When's this car from? Is it 1960-something? That's quite good, uh, all things considered. Anyway, yeah, that'll do for now. I'm not going to do anything with the downforce. How old is this car? I need to find out. Uh, do 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 Sunbeam, 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 tiger. 1967. Okay, that's pretty good. Anyway, we've got 244 horsepower, 344 pounds feet of torque, and 2,749 pounds, which is pretty decent. And we are going to take this vehicle to a track, obviously. Uh, we're going to take it to Silverstone, and we are going to go for that layout of Silverstone, because why not? I'm going to take it down to three laps, because it's going to be ridiculous if it goes for any longer. And, yeah, I think that's it. Right, let's go to the track and see how this thing does. My predictions, I think this is going to be a nice handling car. Although, then again, every time I've predicted it's going to be a good car, it's always been terrible. So, don't take my predictions uh, as an indication of what's going to happen, because, honestly, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, so, yeah, th th this should be fun. Um... <laughs> I wish I knew what was going to happen here, but I honestly do not, so... Yeah, that's fun. Um, I do. I guess that's part of the surprise of uh, doing these silly, stupid race builds. Um, I was about to say silly car builds. I'm not fail race. I'd like to be fail race, because, you know, um, he makes much better videos than I do, but still, I'm not fail race. So, yeah. Anyways, um, there we go. Finally loaded. We are racing against a bunch of modern sports cars, and this thing is incredibly low, apparently. So, as always, with these race builds, we are starting in 22nd place, back with a Holden and a old Maserati 300S. I was kind of hoping I'd get some more of that supercharger wine, uh, but apparently not. Anyway, it still sounds pretty damn amazing, and so far it feels pretty damn amazing. Through the first corner, we are handling pretty decently. I do like this dashboard, I've got to admit as well. It's, uh, I'm not usually a fan of old-ish dashboards. They all look relatively the same, and they're all just covered in wood. 
Admittedly, I like wooden dashboards. I don't know why. Um, but I do... Come on, get over. There's a load of Subarus in this one, apparently. There's a SVT Cobra Mustang there as well. Hopefully that'll explode or fall to bits or something. Um, right. Straight line speed. How are we doing? We've only got 244 horsepower, remember. And... You know, everything is quicker than us, but that still isn't half bad. I mean, it's keeping up with an Evo 10, almost, and that has 300-ish horsepower. So that's pretty incredible, actually. Through the corners, this... Oh, through the medium-speed corners, this thing is awesome. This is fantastic to drive. It really is beautiful to drive this. Oh, God. This... Yeah, I think it's mostly that race suspension. Like I said... From what I remember of the Top Gear lap, this was a good handling car. It may have had some suspension issues from what I remember though, because it was quite soft, because it's an old car. Around the outside of a BMW M3, no problem. See, the E46, the car everyone hails, is an amazing, amazing car. It has nothing on my Sunbeam Tiger. Uh, mind you, that M3 probably has nothing on the uh, M3. Oh, Christ. Uh, sorry, Chrysler. Um, although, to be fair, I imagine I would come off a lot worse if that was an actual collision. Uh, I would not like to be involved in a collision in this thing. Um, I'd kind of like to drive one because it's got an amazing sounding engine and it looks kind of cool. Um, but I would not like to be in a collision in it. Oh, the internet's favourite car, Godzilla, go straight round the inside of BMW M5. Tap him out the way a bit, but hey ho. Right, the Aston Martin DBR1. This should be kind of... in. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, this should be kind of interesting because we're kind of the same car, but nope, he's just leaving me for dead. That M5 is also catching, but it's not catching nearly as quick as you'd expect it to. I mean, that thing has almost 400 horsepower, which is pretty incredible. Uh, Summit has just utterly disappeared towards the front. I have no idea what it is. Come on, some beam. Get around the Aston Martin. Right, I think this last corner... Oh, it's a Z8, is it? Okay. Um... Yeah, I believe my main advantage comes from... Oh, Christ, the Aston Martin did not like being hit, apparently. Um, my main advantage comes through this corner, because I can just take so much more speed than these guys can. Up the inside of an Audi RS4, this is our last lap. Let's see if we can actually... Uh, I'm going to go up the inside, not quite succeed on that one. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm banging the uh, Sunbeam up a little bit. Okay, next up BMW Z8. The modern representation of the Sunbeam Tiger, I guess. They're both convertibles. They both look pretty outlandish. I do like the Z8. Um, I originally thought it was a really, really ugly car, but I kind of like the way it looks nowadays just because it's so very, very, very silly. Um, hence why I've been pushing for that thing to go around the Top Gear track for some time. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> tally ho. Tally ho. Um... <laughs> Jesus, that Chevrolet SS is also quite quick. I'm not sure how much power the Chevrolet SS does. I know the Z8 has around 400-ish horsepower, so that really doesn't surprise me. What does surprise me is the fact that I can go around the outside of him and just completely and utterly destroy him on the corners. That's pretty impressive from a 1967 car. Yeah, you know what? This, uh, this Sunbeam is brilliant. It really is a fantastic car, this. Give this one a go, um, not only because it sounds amazing, but apparently if you um, build it correctly, this thing can be a mighty, mighty impressive race car. I wouldn't really take it to the longer tracks, just because it seems like in a straight line this thing can get beat on quite easily. But yeah, uh, definitely give the Sunbeam Tiger a go, apparently, because it's pretty incredible. Anyways, friends, that is it for today's race build. I hope you have enjoyed. If you've got any suggestions for race builds you'd like to see, please leave them down in the comment section below. Anyways, as always, thank you all very much for watching. My name's been The Rail Emil, and until next time, farewell.